In this video, you're gonna watch me set an appointment live using all the strategies that we've talked about in the last couple of videos of how to become an appointment setter and make anywhere from four to $10,000 every single month. So if you wanna see it happen live, make sure to stay tuned for the video. Welcome to the Remote Closing Academy. Back when I first started as an appointment setter, one of the things that I really wish that I had was someone literally holding my hand and showing me a live process of in real life setting and doing the thing that they were teaching, right? A lot of people like to teach the theory behind things and you maybe could do this and do that and hopefully it works for you well. In this video, we're gonna splice over to me setting an appointment live. I'm gonna show you my screen. I'm gonna show you the script. I'm doing it physically in my phone and you're gonna be able to see the reaction from the person that I'm actually sending the appointment with. Just a spoiler, it's so freaking simple and you can do this exact same thing to make a full-time income online. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and splice over to the clip. You guys sit back, relax and enjoy. All right, so I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So just going through this conversation, uh, basically setting appointments, obviously. And uh, so we usually just send like a really simple message at the beginning, get them talking a little bit, figure out, okay, like what is their current situation? Like, why don't they like that? Um, and with this one, it's just this dude is tired of working in a nine to five. And he's like, I know that there's something better than, he said, currently stuck in a chair in a cubicle that I don't feel comfy in. So I'm just gonna respond. Um, at this point, um, the way that we run the conversations is we try to, well, obviously we wanna get like information from them, figure out like what, you know, again, the pain points, whatever. But sometimes it's so simple because they give you like all the information. So if someone's in the position where they already know like, okay, I wanna make a change, I'm just gonna go straight and put him on the, uh, on the calendar because again, he's gonna show up for the call. He has the pain there. So I'm just gonna send him the link. So I'm just gonna say, um, Got you, man. I feel that. Um, I think the best option at this point is to jump on a quick 15 minute call. That's something you open to. Question mark. And we'll, uh, we'll give him a second response and see what happens. Yep. All right, he's typing. We got it. He was like active on Instagram. He said, "Yeah, but not right now." No worries. I'll send you a link. That cool. So one one other small thing that I like to do is ending with a question, but making sure that like. Ending with a question and making sure that you're transitioning the conversation. Because I see a big problem that a lot of people, like appointment centers will make, is they'll make more of like statements and like answer their question. When if you just answer the question, you're not like retaining control of the conversation. So just said, let's see. Yeah, no worries. I'll send you a link. That cool. He said, yes. So I'm going to shoot him our link and I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, notification that he actually booked and I'm gonna send him a little pre-call video so he can check it out before uh, before he jumps in the call he'll uh, you know he's a programmer so he's someone that you know that's a little like financial qualifier we know that he's serious he has a pain and I think this will be a good call so yeah all right so another hack tip trick is um, so what I'm gonna send to him so I send him the calendar link but a lot of times they like you want to like triple confirm so what I'm gonna say is, hey, oh, no, I'll say, um, by the way, can you just send me the email that you used to book, that you used to book, and let me know. So I'm gonna say, let me know when you do, so I can make sure, like, tech, like, you know, tech is wonky sometimes. Um, so it just, like, it makes them kind of go in and do it, like, now, so I can check. Um, so let me know, so I can, make sure it comes through. So really I'm not, I don't really care much about the email. I just want him to like send me the email so that he goes in and like books it, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, there's your tip. There's your tip for the day. All right y'all, so we have a Slack channel specifically for uh, appointment setting calls. And this one that just came through, his name is Tim and uh, he booked in. So obviously we'll, we'll blur all the sensitive info, but that's, I mean, I did that in probably collectively five minutes, oh, like in terms of the conversation that I wait for him to respond or whatever. But um, if you can do that, like let's say that was, you know, took 10 minutes. If you can do like 10 of those a day, 
statistically speaking, <laughs> about 10% of them will close, right? And you know, if your follow-up's better and like that type of stuff. So you can even get like 20% of them to close. If you're selling a $9,800 offer, which we are, and you're making so called 10,000, right? We'll make $300 every close. So if you're closing 10%, that's 300 bucks every day, essentially. So it's uh, it's pretty yeah. good. Not, it's not bad, it's not bad.